you need money to run the business. I think people should chase their passion after they've made money. As a photographer, I've opened my heart to embrace to embrace AI. AI in the hands of the photographer. The photographer knows how to find tune and control. My name is Rona Kingsley, lead creative from Da Studios, and it's such a delight for me to be seated on your podcast. Thank you, Insight TV. Uh, thank yes. you for coming here. So, how long have you been into photography? Well, uh, professionally, I would say five years. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> with the other recent years that I've been in it, I transitioned from um, cinematography okay. to photography. So I've been doing cinematography and photography on the side for since when I was 15 years old. Wow. Okay. Yes. That's really since impressive. I was, and I was shooting from the church. It's so funny how I liked um, photography and cinematography mm -hmm. because I was so fascinated about lights and the whole production issue then um then in my church we did not have any camera so what i usually do I will, each time we're traveling to the headquarters which is lagos mm. i will use my money to rent camera mm. record my pastor mm. edit the best i can edit then travel with it to the headquarters mm. and i ask them what did i not do well it's not wow. what i did well is what did i not, not do, do well, well. wow okay. say oh do this one do this one do this one okay. so that was how I mm. that came sounds into the field. fun so apart from the fact that you liked photography was there any other thing that inspired you to go into photography and cinematography the major thing that inspired me to go into um photography fully professionally okay. was the fact that um i got married and okay. i didn't want to continue as a freelance okay. anymore okay. i wanted something that was more tangible okay. freelance you just wait for a job to come and meet you yeah okay. but um Something when you run a business, yes. Yeah. So that was that was how I moved transition into becoming a professional or a full time photographer. All right, that's yeah. awesome. So I'm very certain that from when you started, like five years ago, what photography was at that time is not exactly what it is now. And new things comes up every day when it comes to photography. Yeah. So is there any particular trend? current trend that you're more excited about and if there's any why current trend oh yes yes um first of all i will, I will give a very big shout out to one of my friends matthew Gibuno. Okay. yes he he was the person that introduced me into professional photography wow. because at that time I was learning with one of the best photography studio in port Harcourt. so wow. he used to be my roommate so why while, while in school I was doing the cinematography team full time, him he was just doing photography okay. and graphics. Okay. So when I wanted, I already designed the kind of photography I wanted to do, okay. but I didn't know the path I was supposed to go in. I didn't know that we had portraits, events, lifestyle. Okay. So I didn't know. It helped me carve to get a niche those parts. Okay. Yes, you understand. Yeah. So. Uh, I remember calling him that I want to open a photography studio. Okay. I've never worked in a photo, photo studio. I've never worked with anybody that is a photographer. Wow. So this is me saying I wanted to open. I've never touched a strobe. You understand? I've never. Okay. But um, when I called him, he just told me, oh, this is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. And he now introduced me to frequency separation. Okay. So in my city at that time, what most people were doing, if you're a photographer, you understand, they would just use portraiture, portraiture your picture, and everywhere is smooth, extra smooth. Mm. So he now said, I don't want you to do those kind of pictures. I want you to do what is trendy okay. at that time. Mm. So most photographers, they shoot on JPEGs. Okay. He was the one that told me, you don't have to shoot on JPEGs, you have to shoot on RAW. So he introduced me to a lot of things okay. and funny enough it was like two to three weeks but those two, those two to three weeks was not every day okay. he only 
came around when it was his off days. Mm -hmm. But I was eager, I was hungry to yeah. learn. I was yeah. I was very hungry. Okay. So that was that's how the journey started. As a techie from my own end, I know that AI has come to stay. Yes, right? yes. Even the advent of drones now. So I'd love to ask me. I might have my normal pictures when my phone camera roll and then I just take it to AI. Please help me fine tune this picture. Yeah. So does it take food out of your mouth as a professional photographer? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Why I say it doesn't is because understand AI is here yeah, as a photographer. I've opened my heart to embrace to embrace AI. Okay. The reason is because it makes my work very easy. Okay. Even if I want to edit videos, it makes my work so easy. And for you to, it's like people having a good mobile phone. And then the reason I bought this was is because of content creation or mm. I want to take good pictures with it. Yeah. But if you don't understand the concepts mm. or the basics of you using those things, it will not... Suffice and, for you. Yeah, I know someone that bought a mirrorless camera. I was like, man, what I will be shooting now mm. would be crazy. But the guy <laughs> did not understand the concept of exposure. Wow. Well, okay. So you'll be wondering, did you shoot with a mirrorless or you shot with even someone that knows how to use crop sensor, like understands those basics, would deliver a good job. Wow. Well, I'm I'm asking, I said there are so many, there are so many Studios. studios why okay. should people use them yes, okay people so people before before profit okay yes in the studio our tagline is people before profit because okay. when people come we we'll make money yes so the reason why people should use us is we understand the pain people are going through okay. we understand the pain of removing money to want to create a memory mm -hmm. that's you want to preserve we understand those pains we understand what it takes to do it because it's not cheap even if it's five naira it's not cheap yeah it's, it's expensive so mm -hmm. people people go through a lot to want to pay you to preserve it so we understand what it means to to pay us to document your big day mm -hmm. uh, like what i usually tell people most times when i'm training people for the first time I tell them one of the things that made me start this my photography studio. Of course, I wanted to make money, mm -hmm. but in between, I wanted to also reach out to people to mm -hmm. give people hope that don't worry, your picture is safe, mm -hmm. your memory is safe. So that was what I was trying to do, and that's where we've been. Like the 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 love and the growth of experience in the duration of uh, four years since we incorporated as a brand wow. is is massive okay it's massive so nice assume that i want to learn photography so is there a price range i need to consider for me to come learn photography in today's each, you know. Learning photography. First of all, when people ask, when people tell tell me that they want to learn photography, mm. I usually ask them, "Why do you want to learn photography?" Okay. And a lot of people will now say it's because I have passion for it, and I tell them passion is not enough. Okay. To learn, and I'm going to explain why I say passion is not enough. Okay. So passion is not enough where when money is not coming. It, it's not you. you understand it's funny that's yeah. one two uh passion is not enough because you're a young person mm -hmm. and you're still building life okay. i think people should chase their passion after they've made money <laughs> yes because yeah. at that point you know this is passion you're chasing but if you have dreams then it's okay to be passionate about it but in fact, I got fully involved in my photo studio. After I've rented a place and everything, I didn't open for some months. No. Not until my wife now left for NYC. One day she was just asking me for money. I didn't have enough money at that time. I just thought, okay, no problem. Let me, I'm going to send you later that day. So I went. It was all orchestrated by God. Mm. I, 
I'm a believer. So I might mention God. I mm. don't know if it's okay. So um, that I just went to the studio. I was just trying to set up. Then something happened. Yeah. Someone just walked up. One guy just walked up and said, Someone told me there's a photo studio here. I said, Yes, but we've not opened. Mm. Oh, the and the man said, Ah, while we were still talking, the wife just came up. That's how, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you people should enter inside with the children. I was still learning. Mm. I was like, We've not opened. The woman said, Is that not photography light? <laughs> Is that not this one? Come and snap me. Oh. Ah. I've not even done my pricing, I've not done anything. So, I said, one of my guys trained me, yeah? I just said, I just ran outside to tell the guy, ah, fuck, yes, mm. what do you, and the guy was far off. The guy said, snap them now, snap them. I know what I don't tell you, snap. So, I took the pictures, and at the end of it, they just asked me how much. Mm. I told them what the guy told me. Like, mm. I asked the guy, like, how much? The guy said, tell them this amount. Okay. I told them, man, they paid. Wow. I just turned, pick up my phone, my wife. Hey, how much did you say you want again? <laughs> I said, hey, I need money for this. I, need I sent her money and I still had money on wow. me. So if that money was the motivation for me to do it, if that money no come that day, give mm-hmm. up. So passion is not just enough. First of all, you you need to be hungry yeah. enough to want to learn. Then um training uh I tra- it depends on what you're coming to learn. Okay. But the least I take for my training is 200k. Wow. Yes. Okay. For a duration of 2 months, 3 months. Okay. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. So what advice would you love to give to anyone that would love to go into photography? Photography. If you want to go into photography, just start from from where you are. Like start from these days is even easier because we have good smartphones. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of guys that they use smartphones to take pictures and you will not know that they use smartphones to take pictures. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like me starting or getting my equipment, it was not. In fact, the first time I wanted to buy my equipment, mm. someone duped me. Wow. Someone I trust trusted very well sent money to the person. Then duped me, but somehow, somehow I was able to recover my money. Mm. Yes. Then um, the other equipment, I did a job for some individuals like three times and. The turnover was was something that was okay. So if you want to start, be hungry enough to do research on what you need for your photographic journey or the kind of stuff you need. Okay. Yeah. So for me, I I uh, that period I had to use Jumia as my <clears throat> market for window shopping. Okay. So I said, Oh, I needed this light, I needed this light, I needed oh, this is what it costs. Then when that money came. All I all I did the day I received the alert, the next day mm. I carried my list, boarded a train, went to a bar, wow. bought all my equipment, came back with change. Wow. Reasonable change. Yes. Nice. To start. Okay. That's amazing. So are there any social media platforms you can follow? Social media platform. It's just our name on that studios. When you click on it, it's going to pop. On all social media yes. platforms. Yes, that studio portraits. On our social media platform. All right. Thank you very much for coming here. So thank you guys for watching and listening. You've heard it from the professional himself. If you want to go into photography, just start from where you are. You have the means on your hands. Do not procrastinate. Thank you very much, guys, and bye.